Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with the Machine 2.8 update and specifically taking a look at the Sounds.com integration. I got to see a little bit of this at NAMM, but, uh, you know, obviously I want to check it out and actually see how it works in terms of the syncing and everything like that. So I signed up for a trial and you can see right here in your account settings under download settings, it says enable download all to NI apps. That means for machine and complete control, you'll be able to download whatever is in a collection. So it has to be in a collection, it appears, for it to be able to be downloaded. So I figure I'd just bring you along and we're going to see how this works. So let's go over here. I guess I could go to collections or I can make my own. So if I make a new collection, I wonder if I can add like a bunch of stuff to a collection, like a whole product or something. Because I'm not familiar with. So let's say I want to do something like that. So if I search for. So can I just add this whole joint? I'm not sure. So if I go through here, there's a bunch of kits there. So let's say I want these. Can I add that whole thing? So it just says download all, but I want to add them to collection. So it doesn't like it's possible to just add a whole thing to the collection. If I just want to make a new collection, but we'll just add some stuff. So if I click here, yeah. Yeah, they should make it so you can add everything at once. We'll just do a few different joints just to test it out. So, let's see. Yeah. So basically this, you would go through and make your own collection. So basically you kind of making your own product collections and they're supposed to show up in the browser. So if I go through and say, I've picked a bunch of joints that I like out of here. Cool. So now if I go to this collection, let's see what happens. So there it is. If I go here and say all to NI apps. Yes. All right. So let's says it's downloading them to my apps. Let's open machine. I don't see any, any indication that it's downloading them though. It's supposed to be under this loop icon, I believe. Oh, there it is. So that, so yeah. So whatever you name your collection, it just shows up down here under sounds.com under loops. And actually there they are. Yep. And they show up as loops. All right, that's actually pretty easy. It would be cool to have some type of, I don't know, some type of indication that it's downloading. Now, I wonder if we go back over here, can I change the name of a collection? So what if I do this? If I say, And it looks like you can only have up to, oh, maybe that's the character. So 40 characters. So if I do that, let's see if it changes in here. It doesn't look like it changes the name if I change it there. Maybe if I download something else, let's try. So let's go, let's go back. And I figure it'd be cool to just take you along and so we can just see how this works together. So I'm going to say, man, let's do that. If anybody from the sounds team is watching this, we really need a way to be able to quickly add a bunch of, like if we like a whole product and I just want to make this a collection, I need an option to just add this to a collection, like everything. Um, it would make it much easier. But I get it. Like you can go through and just kind of build your own thing. So you got that. They also have pre-made collections. So... 
and they had like some artist collections and stuff like that. So let's say this one right here. Brian Michael Cox, EA Ski, and let's say Snipe. So I wonder if these will show up with the actual pictures. So let's check it. So since this is already a collection, it says 46 sounds there. I got to remember, man, I only got, I don't got that many. All right, this one says 15, so let's do that one. And I'll say I'll download this. It says it's downloading. Let's see this one, Snipe 65. Yeah, man, you trying to take all my joints. Uh, So you kind of get the idea. But yeah, so you can go through these collections right here and just download them. Like say if you wanted some ambient or just all the all the collections that they already made. Let's see what's in this down tempo. Maybe down tempo and ambient. There's some G funk. I don't know what's in there. Of course you can preview all this stuff. I'm just kind of exploring it. So you can see what to expect if you don't have a sounds.com account and you haven't signed up for the, the trial. I forgot to go ahead and do it and just check it out. So there's 32 sounds there. Let's see. I mean, I dig down tempo. So, yeah. Looks like this one has individual kicks as well. Drum sounds and loops. That's in right. Let's do this. Let's make a uh So let's see what it does when it downs slow individual drum sounds. So let's say uh one shot and drums. Character vinyl. So I can go through and just add. I'm saying, just do that. Maybe a kick. All right. So hopefully this is kind of showing you guys the, the process. <clears throat> Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a sounds.com user, so I just figured I'd take you along as we explore it. And let's see. So I got all that. So if I want to just go into a, a specific kit. If I wanted to download all that, I can't do that, which is crazy. So let's say I like that one, so I'll just throw it in there. I mean, I can see how this could be useful. It's much more useful to have it integrated into machine, I think. Because before that, it honestly for me, it just wasn't it wasn't a need. So if I go over here and I say, yo, I want to download these joints. Okay. It says it's downloading, so let's see what's up. So under my loops. Alright, so it doesn't show the picture that's on the site. They should definitely do that. Um, and you can see since I changed the name, it only added those. So yeah, they need to they need to do that. They need to change that. If I change the name of my collection, it should update it on my machine instead of making two different ones. So, and then this one should have a picture because it has a picture on the site because it's one of their own collections. But anyway, so you got that, but the stuff is in there. Like those are the other two I added. So all that's in there, let's see under one shots. So 
but yep, they show up down there. So there's the drums from the EA ski joint, and there's my boom bap drums. So yeah, that's how it works, man. Like I said, just just wanted to explore that with you guys really quick, just kind of show you how it works. I can see a few few areas where it could be improved, in my opinion, especially with the naming and just the the visuals. You know, I understand if we make our own, then it wouldn't show an actual artwork. But if it's on the site and it's under here, like it's the collections that they put together and it has artwork, I feel like that artwork should show up when you download it. But it works. Just make sure you throw everything into a collection and it'll just automatically download. You just go to your collection and say download instead of downloading directly you just download and it goes directly to your apps i don't know where it stores it at i'm pretty sure it'd be easy to find out where it stores it at on your on your computer but um that's something else i would have to look into just for you know when you start downloading a lot of stuff it could definitely clog up your hard drive so i want to see where that stuff is is getting loaded to so let's see where this goes really quick so samples are stored Looks like an app data local native instruments shared. So there's a sounds.com folder basically on your system drive. I don't see a way in machine to change this. So they definitely need to let us change this because I don't know about you, but I don't like a lot of stuff just going to my system drive. I want to put it on my sample drive. And I don't see anything in the preferences that actually lets us do that just yet. But hopefully that's something that they're going to add, maybe like under library or something like that. Somewhere they need to add where we want the samples to download. But, yeah, it works. It's really straightforward. Not just for loops. One shots as well. So, it definitely makes sounds.com more useful, in my opinion, than it had been. At least for me. It's because it's, it's so integrated right into machine or complete control. So, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you dig it. Again, this is St. Joe, machinetutorials.com. Checking out Machine 2.8 and the sounds.com integration. Uh, Pretty cool the way they got it set up. Definitely see some ways they can improve, but it's definitely, you know, going in the right direction, I think, for those of you that are actually using sounds.com. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.